guys? How's it going? Thought I'd do a walk around since you guys have been asking all your fans on the old D22 Navara. First off is I'll start off on the front. Right, eh? I've got a worn 12,000 pound winch in the front. King's 9 inch lights, LEDs. Don't buy them. They're shit. I've got a 22.5 inch light bar on the front. Works great. What else have I got? I've got the GME Aerial. I've got my rod holders for when I want to go fishing. I've got a uh, aftermarket snorkel on the front. Also, I've got the ARB ball bar on the front. It was when, on there when I bought the car. I've also got the 245 Toyos on the front, ATs. Best tyre. I've put them through that much hell and they're still living. We'll go around the other side and we'll go in the inside. I'll show you all my me, me deadly gadgets. Right. The HEMA HN7, best navigator ever. Still trying to learn how to use it. Also, I've got my switches, I've got my light bar switch, my spotties, my winch isolator over here. Winch switch, rear lights, zombie lights, cigarette lighter. I've got me rock lights for when I'm driving at night time and I'm doing a bit of rock work. Got the Uniden um, Mini UHF, works like a treat. And I've got two um, volt meters. We'll just go back around the front. Underneath I've got the Tough Dog steering dampener underneath. Also I've got high tensile steering rods, so you won't be breaking them anytime soon. I've got me deadly homemade roof rack that I made at home, off the side, I've got the Hulk high lift jack from RNG. Yeah, with the holders, and then I've got my shovel there. Then I've got underneath me RMG off-road rooftop tent. I've got me track tractions. Then I've got me June four-wheel drive box for all my cooking equipment. That's how I get all my deadly chef spud footage. At the back here, underneath here, I've got two. Oh, I just got a. Pry them open, she's a bit hot in there. But anyway, underneath there I've got two AGM deep cycles, 120 amp hours. So that gives me 240 amp hours of power. Where's my beer? I've got to get my beer, I've got to get Chef Spud's beer. Hang on, we'll go back, we'll go for a wander around here. I've got a King's 3.3 3 by 3 meter awning. I've taped it up because Kings are shit. Don't buy Kings. And then after that, I've got my 20 litre drum of water. Right, that's all plumbed up to a pump. Oh yeah, my shower. For when you wanna have a quick shower, just a quick rinse off. Works like a treat. Don't use it in uh, winter, because I don't have a hot water system. Should be right. But yeah, nah, she folds out like this. You have a quick, I've got a little awning that goes around here, in my rooftop. You just have a quick, I can turn her on. Just be tap. The young fella, he loves it when you go camping. Around the back, I've got me, I've made up me false floor. Me and me old man made that. And then here I've got me, me tap. A bit of water in there. This is my kitchen on the back here. So when I'm doing me cooking, my rooftop folds out. And I just stand underneath here and do me chef spuds cooking. I've got a fridge slide that I made. I thought I did pretty well in it actually. Took me a couple days to make it because I work full time. But yeah, no, she slides out like so. And then when you want to get your stuff, you just, I've got to turn it into a drop slide, but she's right. You just grab your stuff out of your fridge. There's a 38 litre angle that goes onto there. And you just slide it back in like so. And then you just keep cooking. Then I've got my little light lead light here that goes across the top for when you're cooking. Lights up the whole back here nice and well. Um, over here I've got all my switches. We've got my water pump. Yep, the water, loudest water pump on the planet. Then I've got my fridge switch, uh, my cabin lights, and then I've got accessories for when you want to like, because I've got an Anderson plug just over here. And what I've got is like a little charging point for when you're sitting down underneath my awning. I've got an Anderson plug here. So I've got a little adapter that comes off of that and then into like charging points and stuff like that. Works like a dream. And then underneath all this kerfuffle, 
I've got my solar charge controller. It tells me how much I'm charging. And then underneath that, I haven't got it in there at the moment. I've got uh, a 600 watt inverter that sits underneath there for when you want to run a fan or something in summer through the rooftop. Runs like a treat. Run it nearly four days off those AGMs before those batteries probably don't even go flat by then. But yeah, run a fair while. We'll go back underneath the car. I've got raw suspension shocks underneath. As you can see, don't have diff lock because I reckon that if you need diff locks, you're not trying hard enough. Oh, I've got my lights in the rear bar. That's my reverse lights. They're on that switch I was talking about before. So you can have them as reverse lights or just normal lights. Deadly, deadly. That's about all I really got on the old D22, the old Navarra. She's not really as hectic as the Jeep, but it's the more specifications or whatever you want to have, however you want to say it. Specifications, however you want. Yeah, other than that, yeah, she does the job. Take it just as far as the Jeep. Probably won't go as far as the Jeep, but pop the bonnet. Oh, she a bit dirty. Yeah, I'll go through here quickly. I've got a K&N air filter in here. Works like a treat, works like a dream. And then I've got a, I can't remember what brand I bought it about. Um, it was a high flow turbo. I bought it from, I can't remember where I bought it from, but yeah, no, that's a brand new turbo. Other than that, she's pretty much stock. Does the job that I want it to do, take the young fella camping and do the videos. For you guys, keep you happy and joyful and keep me cooking and in the beers. This is pretty much it for this run through. Bear time, fellas. Catch us later. Hey, Cody! The Navarra's better than the Jeep! See you next time, fellas. Fuck oh, up!